This is a Yezu FDDX570 and let's take a look at some of the panel controls. We've got the mode switch, lower sideband, upper sideband and CW. Then we've got the Vox gain here along with the push to talk. The MOX I should say. And we've got the power, phones, mic, AF gain, clarifier, and the uh, switches for the meter for power output IC and ALC, 25 and 100 hertz calibration signal, external internal VFO, switch, and slow, fast, and off AGC. And over here we've got the load control, plate control, mic carrier, pre-selector, this is the band switch, 80 through 10 meters with WWV also, and two other auxiliary switches, so you could presumably put 12 and 17 meters in this. And the RF gain control. This radio is supposed to have an input of 560 watts PEP and 430 watts CW. Let's see what this thing will do for output. I'll take you over here and let you look at the, at the power meter, the watt meter. Looks like it puts out about 300 watts. I'm not sure how accurate that meter is but it's probably in the ballpark. Let's take a look at the inside of the rig from the top. Back here we've got the final tubes and those final tubes are six KD6's, a pair of them. There's your tuning coils, that's the power supply and that's what adds a pretty good bunch of the weight here. And you can see the single sideband and CW filter. There's 22, fil um, 22 tubes in this thing. See if we can find somebody on the band. Listen to it for a while. band is just a little bit dead because it isn't quite late enough. Note that the S meter goes from right to left as opposed to normally left to right. Now the IC meter does go from right to left. Well, that's the FTDX 570. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at it.